Um, good evening, and, and thank you for having me here tonight. Um, it really is critical that we include prevention in these important conversations we're having about concussion. And so um, I really thank the organizers for acknowledging that fact, and no surprise with, with Charles at the helm. And it's really important that Canadians hear about organizations like Parachute and our partners like the Canadian Concussion Center and many of the organizations that are represented with speakers on the stage tonight, that we are taking action to improve and make differences in the lives of Canadians when it comes to preventable brain injury. As many of you know, Parachute is Canada's national charity dedicated to injury prevention. Our vision is a Canada free from serious injuries, where Canadians live long lives to the fullest. We know that injuries are predictable, and we have the solution, prevention. Our goal is to prevent serious and fatal harms on our roads, in our homes, and at play. We do that through education and through advocacy for better policy and laws and enforcement of those, as well as changes to our physical environment to remove hazards. Concussion is an injury that can happen in any setting. Motor vehicle crashes, falls, and sport and recreation related incidents are common causes. Our best investment is to prevent these incidents from happening. But if they do happen, there are also significant steps we can take to prevent the long-term consequences of the injury including lasting impacts on mental health. Parachute has long been involved in educating kids about preventing head injuries, including concussions, through the Parachute Brainwaves program, originally the Think First Brainwaves program. Trained volunteers, and sometimes still even the famous Dr. Charles Tatter himself, go out and help kids understand the importance of their amazing brain because of all it does and the ways they can protect it. We reach 30,000 students each year from grades four to six across Canada, and we continue to grow by offering free digital resources on our website for anyone who wants to bring brainwaves to their community. We recently revitalized one of our most popular programs. The Parachute Smart Hockey program is designed to keep hockey players safe and prevent brain injuries on the ice. Developed this time around in partnership with the Coaching Association of Canada, our free toolkit equips coaches to build a team culture of playing smart hockey that includes preventing concussions, feeling comfortable to report symptoms, and supporting everyone on the team to recover from injury safely. We all have a collective responsibility to provide safe participation environments for our young ones and their developing brains so they can play, they can learn, and they can thrive. This can be supported by education, but we need more. We need policy change, we need system change. We have been proud to lead the national movement in Canada since 2016 to adopt harmonized protocols for recognition and management of concussions across all sport. And thanks to funding from the Public Health Agency of Canada and a growing partnership with Sport Canada, Parachute published the first ever Canadian guideline on concussion in sport in 2017. The guideline is meant to ensure that athletes with a suspected concussion receive timely and appropriate care and proper management to return to school, sport, and all aspects of their life safely. We worked with our expert advisory committee to develop the guideline, as well as partners in the sports system to make sure it can work for them. The guideline is based on review of current scientific evidence and expert consensus, and covers recognition, diagnosis, and management of sport-related concussion. But of course, the principles in this guideline can apply to any concussion, no matter the cause. And the guideline as monumental an achievement as this was for us, it remains only words on the page unless they're read, absorbed, used by all stakeholders who interact with athletes inside and outside of sport, school-based sport, non-school-based sport, any type of physical activity. So parents, coaches, athletes themselves, officials, teachers, trainers, and healthcare professionals. So how do we put this into action? We put the guideline recommendations into a national protocol template 
and produced a number of implementation tools and provided them free of charge. Our original goal was to work with Canada's national sport organizations to align with and adopt these protocols and hopefully to get maybe 20 sports on board. To date, we've worked with almost 90% of our 56 national sport organizations, with provincial sport organizations in Manitoba, Alberta and Ontario, with ski clubs, school boards and schools. And this is just a sample of how the movement continues to grow. Canada is the only country in the world setting a national harmonization approach like this. And the best part is that everyone can join us, everyone can be a part of it, and it's as simple as downloading free tools at parachute.ca. Another area of policy change that we've seen recently, of course, is Rowan's Law, the first and only concussion safety legislation in Canada. And we've been honored to work with the Stringer family and with the Rowan's Law Advisory Committee to prevent another tragedy like Rowan's death from happening ever again. As Rowan's Law has gone into effect, we've been working with the government of Ontario on the development of Rowan's Law concussion awareness resources, code of conduct templates that um, specifically target prevention, and protocol templates that will be used by sport organizations and schools across Ontario. We see the number of reported concussions growing, and we expect this is at least in part attributable to more awareness, more people seeking care, and more environments having policies and protocols in place and enforcing them. And this is having an impact on our healthcare system. Greater demand coupled with the evolving science and understanding of this injury means our primary care providers need to be equipped to maintain up-to-date clinical practice. So not to tell people to just sit still and sit in a dark room. The Ontario Neurotrauma Foundation uh, provides comprehensive clinical practice guidelines and standards for our healthcare professionals. And so reflecting those guidelines and working within our harmonized approach, Parachute partnered with BC Injury Research and Prevention Unit to relaunch the Concussion Awareness Training Tool, or CAT, for medical professionals. This training covers assessing and managing concussion, when to refer, and how to provide patients with the information they need to support their recovery. It's free, it's online, and can be accessed anytime, and medical professionals can receive credit for it. Early results from our ongoing evaluation show that many professionals who have completed the course have made changes to their practice. More change is going to take time, but we're hopeful and we're very encouraged by what we've seen. We recently launched our brand new website, parachute.ca. It's much more accessible, it's mobile friendly and easier than it's ever been to navigate to help Canadians connect with the information they need when they need it. So whether you're a doctor, a volunteer coach, a parent or an educator, you'll find free concussion resources to help you make change in your community. And we hope you'll join us. Thank you.